So it just seemed a great time to update the edition and really change and revise it. Um, yeah, the worse the economy gets, the more people want to understand economics. We really, being an economics professor, it's a real counter-cyclical activity. Uh, and of course, it, although it's a great time because people really want to engage in economic issues, it's also a challenging one because the issues that are happening are really very complicated and can't just be explained by simple supply and demand. So that seemed a great challenge for us because we always try and use data to illuminate complex issues and try and get people to understand the subtlety of economic theories. And of course the crisis has thrown up so many big issues that we could really incorporate in every chapter right the way through from the emergence of China, the European debt crisis, to issues on global imbalances. So it seemed a great time to update the textbook. A lot has changed since we wrote the second edition of, of the book, and uh, it's a long time since we wrote the first edition, but one thing we were very keen to do was to preserve a feature of the book which I think is very important, and that is to use theory to try and understand contemporary and historic events, and indeed to use those historic and contemporary events to decide which are good theories and which are not good theories. I, I just don't think it works anymore to try and teach macroeconomics by simply introducing a series of models and saying you need to understand this model, now you need to understand that model. And people, particularly in the light of the catastrophic events in some ways that have occurred across the global economy in recent years, are, are, are just no longer willing to accept that economics is about learning one model and learning another model. I think they need to see that theories are useful in understanding the big events that have gone on and indeed using those big events to try and decide which are good theories and which are not good theories. And that's something we're very keen to stress once again in this new edition of the book. Yeah, and I think the other aspect of this book, which is obviously in common with the previous editions, is it takes a very global perspective. Um, so that helps us a lot because, first of all, we can draw examples for, from throughout the world. But also, clearly, you know, the, again, as the recent events have shown, every, the whole world economy is linked. You can't simply do closed economy macro anymore. You have to bring in the global linkages very early and also explain them in a lot of detail. And that's what uh, we have in this book.